Welkom bij Topnames, iedere dinsdagavond vanuit Freedom Lab in Amsterdam. Dit seizoen uh, nog één avond, dat is volgende week, je kunt erbij zijn. Volg uh, de nieuwsbrief Handpicked, volg ons op Twitter en Facebook en we vertellen je hoe je je kunt aanmelden. Uh, Lior, uh, welkom. Uh, you have you. a brilliant um, um, surname as well. It sounds Bernstein. easy. Bernstein. Yeah, it sounds like Bernstein. Yeah. Bernstein. It's, uh, we, we, Good we, enough. We will have it uh, in, 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 in the screen as well, how you write it. Um, but uh, tell us, why did you bring this with you? This, this fine spar pot. Yeah. Yeah. So basically I'm from Otley and Otley is the missing layer for kids friendly banking. So we help kids to learn about money and provide parents the ability to do allowance in a modern way. Okay, so um, how do we do that normally? We give our children one euro a week, for example, to learn them um, spend money, learn mm -hmm. them well, save to, money. To, to start them. with, which, which age group are we talking about? I because would say course, starting, it's, I would say it's starting five, six. Okay, and I think until? Until, well, oddly you can use it, I would say, until 16, because then I will talk a little bit more about what you can do with that. But I think the essence is teach kids about money. And I think what you said, it's really true. And this is basically described the problem because we are turning into cashless society. I don't have cash on me. And then we said, okay, like, you know, once a week, I want to give my son a euro. Then Sunday arrived, like, oh, well, I don't have a euro. You know what? Next uh, week you will get, uh, the next, next week come, same thing. Then on the third week, you know, you're smart, you already prepare like three euros. And oh, Papa, but you know, you didn't pay me for like six weeks. I said, dude, I thought it was like, you know, three. There's always discussion, it's always ad hoc, you always never had it for them. Because when we grew, you know, it was cash everywhere. So it was very easy, you know, to receive this allowance. But nowadays we just see that more and more parents just stop doing that. Yeah, and maybe a very stupid question. Why don't you just give them a bank account? Because, because I mean, you are working with virtual money in, a, in an app and the parents have to uh, install an app and the children are the mm -hmm. one and you work with virtual money they can't spend. Yeah. Uh, so what is, th what is the use? Well, actually, it's not that virtual money that they cannot spend because we are already hooking up with the bank, so you can spend yeah, it. but not yet. No, yeah. actually, yes. So there is few ways that uh, you can spend money in Otley. So one, we are hooking up with bank. So you can have, you know, five minutes open a bank account and have a real money backing up your Otley. And now we're introducing... No, but you can't use Ideal to pay you with your Otley app directly to an, a web shop. Well, actually, you can, in that particular case, you use Ideal, you use a card. So you use a debit card. And then my son, my son has bank which connect to Otley, and if he needs to yeah, use but, it. But the, the, the background of my question is, to yeah. me, it sounds much more complicated. Yeah, let's than, go back to that. Just uh, have a normal, correct. simple bank account, the app on their yeah. smartphone, and you transfer every week one euro. That's automatically. True. And this is, this is perfect when you have, let's say, a son which is 12, 14, then you can start practicing this. However, when he's six, he doesn't have a mobile phone and you don't want to give him a bank account. And moreover, those bank account, there's, let's say, Jucht Reckoning or just like normal Reckoning Quran that like what we have with just limited ability. So we cannot go to the red and that's it. What we're trying to do is really retrofit the whole banking to how families handle money and let kids have features that really resonate with them. Features and like what? For hmm. example, think, you know, we're telling our kids save. It's important to save so you know you can buy some things. And if you put it on a saving account, interest rate is what, zero point nothing. It's a bit hard to sell it to the kids. So I want my son to save and not to spend it all the time on online games. So he's saving for something super important. You know, 29th of September, FIFA 2018, gonna be released and he wanna buy it. So he's trying to put you know, a spar poche and, and, and oddly just dedicated to that. Spar poche. Digital yeah. one. Yeah. And I said, you know, dude, in s for each euro that you will have, I will top it up with 20 cents. There, and then you can do that automatically. There is no bank that gives this kind of an interest rate. We as a parent, you know, we want to, you know, to help them to learn saving. I can do that. 
Moreover, then he said, Papa, beside the FIFA, I also want to save for this uh, cool skateboard. I said, oh, a skateboard, you know, for each euro, I will give you 50 cents because I want him to get a skateboard and, you know, maybe before he gets... Uh, so it's up to us as the parents to sort of incentivize them how to save. So this is just for example, yeah, yeah, one but, feature. But forgive me my persistence, but yeah. I still don't, un don't really see the point because uh, uh, my daughter is 15 by now and yeah. she has had a bank account for many, many years. And I do exactly the same. She I says, see. oh, puppy, I want a, a fast bicycle to yeah. cycle to school. And that's 600 euros. I say, well, the moment you have 300, I'll double it. I see. You know, that's the same principle. I see. Because you try to stimulate yeah, yeah, them yeah, to yeah, put yeah, money yeah, aside yeah, yeah. and to put it on their savings account. Yeah. And she really went for that. I see. So I think you're doing something great because, you know, you have that conversation and you talk about it and you reward her. But apparently most of the people don't do that. And we yeah. do see that. And, you know, we have 12... No, I know I am... I'm the perfect father. Absolutely wrong in my uh, well, but questions yeah. I asked because you are part of the Rockstar Accelerator. You won the U Uber winner of the European Uber Pitch 2016. You had a, a subsidy from the SIDN fund. You were the winner of the FinTech Awards 2017. You were the winner of the World Summit Awards in 2016 in the category Learning and Education. And I still don't. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, he doesn't understand it, but I, when I see that, I, I mean... Well, let me tell you about the... No, but, but I think what you do is, of course, you, you, uh, you like we said, you, you're doing a, a great job, but you make it visible, you make it, uh, as, as part of the app, it is different than on your uh, bank account, find out uh, in the end that you reach your goal, etc. So you, you make it a sort of a daily visible uh, thing as well, with, with making the goals for the different elements. So yeah, you yeah, the gamification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, we do see that more and more parents just don't do, because what uh, you just described, yeah. it's very little parents actually doing that. Because you know what, how Otley started? Because we never dream of opening a company. It was really to scratch my own age. I have three kids, yeah? So yes. now they are 12, and, uh, 8, and I 6. And, and we you started already explained in your household it was a total mess. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was really a mess. <laughs> and I was saying, okay, and I was looking for solutions. And there were yeah. solutions, but they were all, let's say, standalone. And they all looked like a brainchild of Excel and Exact. And I was mm -hmm. like, no way I'm going to use that one. So yeah. then, you know, me and my co-founder, we thought of, okay, let's just maybe build an app and then sell it for, you know, one euro at, at, at the store and, uh, and, and make some money. But when we start talking with parents, then we really identify that there is a problem. And they were like, yeah, that could really save us a lot of time. And indeed, you could address all of this thing with mm -hmm. the current solution. But obviously, not many people doing that. So and is it possible as well that, that you, the example you give is that you that you make sort of thing for uh, I'm the parent and I uh, do ten ten percent up mm -hmm. every uh, euro, but the grandparents do some. Is, is that possible as well? So yes. Other people. So can actually, what actually we introduce and I actually really like that one. It's called Otli Me, and Otli Me it means that each kid has its unique address. So he can send it to you and to say, hey, you know, you need to pay me one euro, 10 euro. So my son did a babysitter to the, uh, to the neighbors. And when he finished, you just send him an Otli Me request for those four euros that he need to get. So just think of Tiki, but then again, integrate it and what we wrote, you know, for Otli. But this is on, let's say, a request base. Imagine you can give it to Oma Opa and then every time, yeah, Opa feel generous, you know, we top it up, you bring a good report you know, it can, it can immediately uh, top it up. Just think that it opened another interesting uh, possibility to do family funding. So you want to save for this bicycle and say, hey, you know, this is what I have and my evil parents don't see the value of, you know, paying 1,000 euro for this uh, bike. Please contribute, see, you can help me and you can share that particular link. Mm -hmm. So it's allow these kind of things that you know, until that was a yeah. bit hard to do. You have, um, uh, you, sh you showed me some stuff uh, before we started uh, this broadcast and you said 
Uh, you have something like 12,000, I think, users? Yeah, currently we have 12,000 kids that yeah. uh, are using What, what have you learned um, of their usage? What I think what we learned much, so the main usage is during the weekend. And other than that, we cannot really learn about the patterns because we're dealing with data of kids. So everything is encrypted and it's very secure. So I cannot really see that to say, hey, they're spending on FIFA and not on, on Snoopius. But what we can see is we can search, let's say, obscure sort of, let's say, data. And we do see that the main usage is actually in the weekend, probably when they're getting their uh, the pocket money and then they spend it. And yeah, but 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 but, but so, so you say um, uh, okay. We of course we we we, we want to be uh, private with their their data. So mm -hmm. so which which part of the data can you can you say something about it? Is this that that they are saving or that they are spending or that they are what? So so. Um, so if we look at the, the, if I look at the patterns, well. definitely, yeah. definitely. I'm, and I'm sure it's very interesting to a lot of retailers because this yeah. is, you know, when kids save for something, it's not that he's going to get, uh, I don't know, a letter from the belasting thing that he needs to put this. You know, if he save, this money is actually secure that he will actually purchase it. So we don't have access to that. But if we see of the patterns of, uh, so we do see that there is more saving than spending. And we do, see, we do think that this is going to change once we're going to introduce the Otley Pay. And Otley Pay, this may be to go back to how you spend money in Otley. So it's, spending money it's very depends on the kid's age. Because, uh, again, if I give the example of my kids, my youngest son, Yule, he's six. He doesn't go to shopping by himself. He goes with me. And then if you want something, so I pay with my debit card. So let's say he gets... You seriously still go out for shopping? Yes. So, for example, we went, we went to get no online for, shopping. Sho for shopping. I'm a big yeah. online shopper, but let's <laughs> say that uh, Donald Duck and Wired, yeah. you know, I go to Bruna to buy that. So then I, yeah. you know, pay with my debit card. Yeah. And then I note it in Otley, and then it syncs with the bank account, which is connect to that. When their kids, let's say, I would say 12 and more, they can have their own debit card. So my son will go to the middle school, he needs to have his, he has his own debit card, he can spend it, it's all synced. However, you have this kind of sweet uh, spot in the middle. So think about nine, eight, nine until 12, when they can spend stuff by themselves, but you definitely don't want to give them credit card, debit card, or your, your iTunes password or your PayPal password. So what happened? My sons want to spend on uh, FIFA points in uh, PlayStation. He called me to the office. Papa, Papa, I need to have it now because this, uh, you know, unbidder is going to uh, expire in like 10 minutes. And, so we introduce Otley Pay. And yeah. Otley Pay, it's kids can request or parents can actually create this Otley Pay card. And then we redeem a special card, for example, iTunes, PlayStation, Spotify. And then the parents can actually pay, just, just normal pay, if you're not connecting with a bank. So convert that virtual into an actual payment using Ideal or PayPal. Mm -hmm. But it's like more that you put like credits on uh, their... Oh, we are uh, online actually... Because I didn't really understand the last bit. Your, your, your child wants to spend something with iTunes? Yes, so he wants 10 euro iTunes uh, credit to spend. So like you have those uh, gift cards at the Albert Heijn. Yeah, so we he can calls you at the office in 10 minutes and how do you solve that? So, so he said, Papa, I want this 10 euro. I see that he is oddly, he has, uh, let's say 30 euro. So we have enough funds for that. I said, okay, cool, you can have that. So I pay for this. So actually pay using Ideal. And then we create an Otley Pay card for iTunes, which is underlying mechanism is digital gift card. And then Rom, just get a credit for 10 euros. But that's completely virtual. It's not a physical. No, it's a, it's a digital card. So it's all. Yeah, but it's not really an Apple thing. It's a virtual in, only in your system because you have already. How does it exactly work? I really don't understand. It's it. the same thing. Think of a digital uh, gift card. Yeah. So if you go to any site that sells digital gift card, so you said, hey, I want iTunes, you pay 10 euros, and then you yeah. get iTunes card for 10 euros. Yeah. We do the same thing. But then you have like an, an account within Otley exactly. with uh, Apple credits. Uh, no, we are issuing this particular gift card. So we have a partner. That's that what does, I mean. Is uh, that a real Apple gift yeah, card? Yeah, it's a real Apple gift card. So it's a, you are issuing it. We are, well, our partner issuing it and we are 
providing it to the kids. Okay. So if you go, for example, another, I think, very famous uh, example, HEMA. You have HEMA Digital. They are the only one, let's say, that can sell, uh, or one of the few that sells uh, iTunes, Carden, without uh, additional money. Because most of them, you know, you want to buy 10 euro, you pay 12 euro. And mm -hmm. if you go to the HEMA Digital, you actually pay 10 for 10. Mm -hmm. So HEMA doesn't produce iTunes or Apple Card. They are just a, a reseller of that, of those yep. digital yep. cards. We use the same mechanism. Okay. So I gave iTunes as an example. The same goes for PSN or for the Google Play or and sort of. Yeah. And let's help them basically to actually materialize that virtual spark watches that they yeah. have. Yeah. All right. You, you said how many uh, users do you have? You have we have 12,000 kids. Kids and, and parents? I think it's around eight, between eight and 9,000. So. Okay, because it's a different app. Uh, yes, yes. So you have two apps. One yeah. with only mobile for the parents. Yeah. And if the kid is old enough and he has mobile and the parents want, he can have the Otley Junior. Mm -hmm. But it's just think of the Otley Junior as a specific look over the Otley mobile. So the parents are the driver. Yeah. yeah. And we have quite some plans of making the Otley Junior with more and more features that can be interesting for the kids. And then use that as a growth factor. So what, what sort of features would that be? What, what would, would make it more interesting for the kids? Yeah. I think, uh, for first, the ability to play with saving jars and to define a certain type of jars and to be able to share it with friends, to be able to have, you know, corporate saving for a sort of goal, to be able to send payment requests between the sales with the permissions of the parents. So you don't facilitate, you know, digital booing or extraction. Yeah, yeah, extraction. Yeah, this is, so yeah. it's, it's, it's all sort of like ecosystem around, around that, that the parents are in control. Yeah. And let's, let's say that the app to grow with the kids, because being eight is not being 12, is not being 14. You know, one of them want more, I don't know, Pokemon Go interface, the other one more looking for the Spotify interface and looking yeah. film. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm trying to think about your product, I think, uh, having been a parent for the last 15 years mm -hmm. also, um, still in your target group, a girl of 15, mm -hmm. um, I would think that, you know, that's the biggest challenge. I mean, I mean, gradually they become more independent. Yeah. I mean, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, it's not maybe one or two different uh, uh, apps or functionalities. Yeah, yeah, it's maybe yeah. 20 different yeah. Uh, phases in their yeah. in their life. How do you cater for that? I think we starting our, our target is to start with them where they're young because again back to the, the the real why is teach kids about money. So we don't expect that you know when you're 15. So oh yeah, I should use uh, Otley. It's something that you will grow that you start using it when you're 10, 12, and it really will become relevant still while you are 15. Yeah. And then because once you have a banking product behind it, you know, we just provide a sort of, let's say, a line between what we provided and what the banks provide. And then they just stop using us and then get their student loan and a mortgage and, and mm -hmm. so forth. But we just really help parents to facilitate, you know, learning money at early So age. what is your long-term strategy? Because you said that now uh, before, also now two times, that, you know, it stops when they're, say, 16 and they have their student yeah. loans and whatever. I can't imagine that that's your end goal. I mean, uh, I read on, on several places that, you know, in the future you might become a serious competitor to, to uh, banks because you have that young audience already uh, uh, in your ecosystym. Mm -hmm. uh, what Actually, is your we don't term well, I, I can't imagine that you just I will long lay term. back and say, okay, they're well, all quitting when they're 16. No, no. I will, no. Would, well, a few things. Our learn terms is really to be the first pre-banking platform for kids. So when you think about, hey, I should start doing Zakhel for my kids, Otley will come to mind. And we do that with many things. So we are trying to put a lot of educational content. We're trying to talk and to partner with NIBAD and with the Child and Youth Finance and this kind of organization to start, you know, to push parents to use that. 
However, we are not seeing ourselves as competitors to the bank. We're seeing ourselves as augmenting banking products with family-related feature. So the customer is still at the bank. So you can maybe start with doing virtual and then you can hook up your bank and have a real bank account behind that. But you know, the banks will be responsible for the compliance and all the yeah. fun parts that goes with but that. But could, couldn't you be, the, the, uh, the, what Roland asks us as well, so if you have people uh, that are loyal to you from the, from the five years on, why, why, why let them go when they're 16? You, you can't think of correct. You can't think of, of, of good, good, good things for me to to uh, um, well to use your app or or the or the, or yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the senior well, version of it or the, the exactly because a lot of people you know well what we hear all the time is oh I should use it for my wife or more more practical <laughs> thing is that's one a good two. idea yes. yeah. yeah or we give then we can support <laughs> well, my wife would maybe wants to use it for me yeah <laughs> she, maybe do she doubles every every euro <laughs> you say you, or you don't spend <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. okay but th but this is a joke aside you can use the same thing for I don't know your senile grandmother uh, that spends all her money with her uh, bridge club and you know buy them stuff that you know this kind of thing to control that but we're trying really to so the same patterns can be used there but yeah. really trying to focus on the kids now back to what you said never say never but i don't see myself as getting a bank license and becoming a, let's okay, say that, a full-fledged bank basic, basic yeah like but again never say never you know i saw uh, klarna was presenting two years ago we actually present together in in a holland fintech meeting and i think today was in the financial times that uh, they receive a banking license yeah so i don't know where we will be in two years yeah. maybe that's uh, so but this is let's say not on the roadmap to okay for the next few uh, years <laughs> yeah but how, how, how do you make your money well, so uh, one, we are bar banks that we partner with them. So we're getting basically money from the bank because it's super important for us to stay free. So we don't want to ask money for the parents and for the kids. And the ultimate pay is based on gift card. And there is commission and actually very healthy commissions on, on those gift cards. Yeah. So we really try to optimize so we will not ask money from our users. Yeah. So, but, but how, how many years? You, you've got now the, 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 a little bit more than the 10,000 uh, uh, users. So, how many users do you need to, um, well, to not lose money, so to say? How, how, how well, currently we're running, you know, with external funding. So, it's not like that we are break even or anything. So, we're far from that. And, yeah. and it's all about investing in, in the platform and getting more and more partners and more and more banks hooking up with us. Yeah. And you know, then we can flourish. So yeah, you, um, you were part of the Rockstar Accelerator program yeah. uh, um, um, until 2016. Yeah, I think. so we were in the they, they, they also were uh, a part of your funding uh, or that they... Yeah, part of the things with Rockstar, they, they, they fund you and you yeah. are become one of them. So you give them equities. But yeah. I would say that the funding is not the most important thing. That no, but they helped you to, to acquire uh, more funds. funding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, w were they valuable to you as a growing super company? Super valuable, yeah. super valuable. On which aspects the most? I would say on the networking. The networking. So really hook us with the right people. people. Yeah. And uh, because we had doubts, we didn't know that, you know, because we we're working in that industry for 20 years, we said, well, I can run a company. It's not that hard. Could not be more wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah, could not be more wrong. And a lot of things they, they taught us, hey, you know, think about this and think about that. And, you know, force you to be in focus and open so many doors for us and, and, and still do. Still do so. It, it's again, it's it's a present that keep on giving. Yeah. Isn't it a risk that uh, with all the, uh, you know, ch uh, children are getting smartphones younger and younger. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no question about that. Most kids these days have a smartphone when they're ten or so. I think last years of uh, Something like primary that, yeah. school. Um, so integrating an app ecosystem together with the real payment possibilities through. Uh, you know, near field com com communication, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff uh, is already possible. Don't you think that there's a risk that what you are doing, that's just a brilliant example to, to the banks to incorporate that in their uh, proposition and 
you know, kill your uh, market? Brilliant. If, uh, again, I, I say it all the time, it's not I mean, if I hear what you say, and if I would work at ING, I would just look at your app and say, okay, you know, let's launch tomorrow yeah. uh, the, the, the children's ING. Actually, they did. ING, Actually, they did, uh, and they kill it, let's say, uh, I think around a year ago. So they did try, but it did, well, they didn't really catch up what they did. Yeah. And I think we are a startup. So we are, you know, first do then apologize. So we did so many things that, oh, fine, that's, that's, that's stupid. And then we, you know, we redo that. And I think this is the main advantage of being a startup and, and, you know, dare to do stuff and do fast and do mistakes and then correct them. And I think this is the main advantage that we have with the bank. Therefore, we're looking to partner with the bank and not to compete with them. And then we look at one Otley. So instead of having ING and AB and AMRO and Rabo, we said, hey, you know, kids not going to tell the parents, hey, you have AB and AMRO, but ING released these really, really cool things for kids. So how about you jump ship to uh, ING because I want that? It's not going to happen. So I don't know. I wouldn't do it. Let's put it like that. So as, as to jump from one bank to another because it's, you know, basically all your life sort of like, you know, with that web of uh, your account uh, and things like this. Not, not anymore. I, I even switched to bank uh, two years ago. It didn't, didn't turn out to be really? a problem at all. Brilliant. Yeah. Then yeah, do you again, do I need would to you do it? It's not a thing you do often, right? No, but, if, if, but, but the thing is, there is a moment in your life that your children uh, need a bank account yeah. themselves and then you look at which bank yeah. will well, have the, the best proposition. Oh, of course. Not necessarily my bank. Yeah. Oh, no Sorry. doubt. But we're talking about, because when you start with young kids, you know, you are the backing account. Yeah. So they have an account, but let's say if each, each uh, week you yep. need to give them one euro, it's yep. need to fly from somewhere. Yep. So you're hooking up with one bank. Obviously, when you start with vanilla and then, you know, you need to have a bank account and you shop around and you say, who giving them the best, uh, you know, features and proposition. Then you open yep. there just for the kids. But, yep. you know, we are hooking up to what you have that already. Yeah. So that's therefore we said, hey, it's much makes more sense to have one brand and then we can partner with more and more banks. But actually, now we're talking also with some German banks and some French banks to sort of. Yep. Yeah, that, that, that was my next yeah. question. I can imagine this is an international uh, yeah. interesting proposition. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so how international are your ambitions? Basically to be the European, let's say, platform for kids banking. Right. And why European? Is, 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 is the world, is, is it a different, why, why, why European and why and not, not the world? world? Yeah. I would uh, say we are, uh, <laughs> I am a modest. Now, I would say, <laughs> again, doing, with, 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 uh, doing those kind of deals with the banks, it's, it's a long sell, sales, um, yeah. you know, yeah, cycles. And yeah. So, again, if there will be, a, uh, let's say, an opportunity in the States, why not? But we're really trying to focus on European first. And then to move to maybe a different valuta and then also to work with... Uh, okay, you, you have external uh, money at the moment. Yeah. Uh, for how long does that last? And Very long. Very long? Very long. We'll okay. get that's good. Yeah, it's... Uh, so you wow. really have a... No, you really have a few years to prove your well, concept. I, I would say we had enough to, pr to be able to prove. So we have enough runaway. So but it's not like we don't need to earn money in this, but we, we're kind of okay for for the time being and, and you know, I can only thank my well, investor. I, 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 I can, I can imagine thing. after all those, you know, recognition you got and the prices you won that uh, there must be a lot of interest from investors as well. Uh, yeah, there is, yeah. Uh, there is, uh, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I think we're really trying to do something new. Yeah. Well, we care about financial education and because we do see how the effect that it brings. Because my daughter was sure, you know, money come out of the wall. Yeah. You need more money, get to the wall, get more money. You know? yeah. I wish that was the case. It was really funny when we started. No, I can see using that you are really sincerely uh, uh, into this subject. <laughs> it was really sweet that, you know, we started explaining them how this works and this, and then. Mia went and she bought something and, and I can't remember exactly what it was. It was some accessories for a Barbie, but it was like 15 euro. And then she had, I think, 40. And it, I said, hey, I had 40, now I have 25. I said, yeah, you know, you bought this Barbie thing. She said, no, 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 I had 40, I have 25. I said, yes, sweetie, you bought. This is the difference. It's, yeah. it's actually <laughs> set you back 50. And you see like the aha moment, like this Barbie cost money. I had 40, now I have 25. And you actually see in her eyes that she finally got that 
the thing concept of money of yeah. money and it was priceless and, and i think this is this for these things we're doing that to, yeah, to yeah. help to teach kids that money doesn't grow on trees and parents are not a bottomless yeah. uh, pit of and money then, then to, to come back to the beginning of our conversation you were probably right that maybe in some things i i'm the exception because i got even heavily criticized because when my daughter needed a new smartphone, I sold my old iPhone to her for 200 euros. And all my friends and her friends said, your father sold his iPhone <laughs> to you? What a bastard. You now can't he give you a, these stuff? But I didn't. Ah, I think the problem was he sold it for only 250. Yeah. But the, value like was much, the value was much higher. The value was probably 400, <laughs> but she paid a lot of money for it. Yeah. And that's why she's very yeah. careful. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Simple as that. So I fully agree that yeah. this is a very important uh, subject. Okay, man. Thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, um, uh, it's a shame uh, my children are too old for this. Time to make new ones, man. <laughs> 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 well, I wait, okay, wait, yeah. <laughs> well, wait a little bit and uh, yeah. uh, I can use it for the grandchildren. That's also true. Months. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much yeah. for having me. Thanks, yeah. thanks a lot. Thanks um, for coming. And natuurlijk, bedankt zoals altijd PQR, het bedrijf dat ervoor zorgt dat de website van Fast Moving Targets gehost wordt. Streamzilla uit Groningen, gespecialiseerd in livestreaming van video en uh, hosting uh, daarvan. Uh, even kijken, we hebben nog meer bier en co. Wat do you have? De mannenliefde? Do you like de mannenliefde? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nou, wij zitten vandaag helemaal aan de Brooklyn Lager. Brooklyn Lager. Ja, lekker hoor. Ja. Lekker. Ja. Um, en natuurlijk um, Freedom Lab, van waaruit we uitzenden. Volgende week zijn we er weer vanuit Freedom Met Lab. Met publiek. Met publiek. Jullie zijn dan van harte welkom. Uh, we beginnen om een uurtje of acht. Ik, we beginnen zelf met drones volgens mij. Oh ja? ja? Ja, ik heb het programma nog niet Net helemaal in nou, okay. Moet ik mijn, moet ik mijn drone ook meenemen? Ja, neem die ook mee. Nee, neem die ook ja? mee, absoluut. Okay. Ja. Nou, leuk. Oh, ja. niet? Nee, mag niet van Johan. <laughs> <laughs> Johan legt straks maar uit. Waarom niet? <laughs> Dan gaat als, als vragen we Vincent nog met zijn ja. drone. <laughs> ja. Ja, die. Dat was vorig jaar met zijn auto, weet je nog? Ja, nee, okay, leuk. Maar goed, uh, ja. Nee, uh, leuk. Goed, drones ook nog. Uh, en, nog en, en veel meer. Maar het belangrijkste is misschien wel, behalve dat het een leuke avond wordt, dat je je foto kan laten nemen door Guido van Nispen. Een uh, prachtige, uh, ja, een echte van Nispen zou ik willen zeggen. Ja. Tot dan. Dag.